Let's begin. <laughs> wow, this is a lot of people. I didn't expect this many people to come, I'm not gonna lie. And how's everyone doing tonight? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I can see you're all enjoying yourself, as you should. <laughs> so, good evening graduates, parents, family, friends, faculty, and distinguished guests. I am Jessica Camandillo, the president of Rush Student Congress and it is an honor to welcome you tonight to the commencement ceremonies for the Brush High School graduating class of 2021. <laughs> Graduates, let me be the first to congratulate you on all of your accomplishments. All of you have had to adjust during this pandemic and you have gone through so much this year. It has been difficult, but you've all made it through and soon you'll be walking across the stage. I wish you all the best of luck in your future plans. Now, it is my great pleasure to introduce to you a group of driven and hardworking individuals who have demonstrated their commitment to the education of the young people of our community, and their work has helped to make this evening a reality. The administration team of the South Euclid Lindhurst School System, please hold your applause. Well, there wasn't any, but still. <laughs> you know. Superintendent, Dr. Linda N. Reed. <laughs> Hold your applause, no, <laughs> whatever. Assistant Superintendent of Student Services and Strategic Partnerships, Ms. Melissa Thompson. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent of Academics, Technology, and Innovation, Mr. Dominic Capel. Mrs. Jennifer Moles, Director of Special Education. Mr. William Miller, Director of Human Resources. And District Treasurer, Mr. Joshua Hill. At this time, I would like to introduce to you the President and members of the South Euclid Lindhurst Board of Education. We are honored to have these individuals with us tonight a team of citizens who have given their time and energy and answered the call to public service. Their efforts have helped to make our district the destination community that is South Euclid and her schools. Beginning with the president of the school board, Mrs. Cassandra Jones. <laughs> Vice President, Mrs. Erin Lee Harris. Board member, Ms. Catherine Falkenberg. <laughs> Board member, Mrs. Stephanie Ryan. <laughs> and board member, Mr. Neil Bloomberg. <laughs> and now, our first student speaker of the evening, my fellow graduate and friend, Shania Woodruff. Before I begin, I would like to thank Jehovah God, my parents, including my mama, my, my friends, and my family for their love and support. Good evening, family, friends, faculty, and above all, my resilient class of 2021. <laughs> First and foremost, I want to commend you guys for the hard work that you've put over these last four years, especially with COVID, to get to this moment. Though this has been a difficult year for us, we know that life is not about the Life is not about the cards you are dealt, but it's how you played the hand. And you are here today because you played it well. Class of 2021, we understood the assignment. Our trials have been real, but so have our successes. Remember last March when we thought we were going home for three weeks? Unaware of what those three weeks would actually turn into. Maybe we as kids couldn't quite wrap our heads around the enormity of the situation. We took Chromebooks home, searched the house for that missing charger, and leaned on friends, classmates, the moms, the aunties, the uncles, the grandmas and the grandpas to support us and give us a push when we wanted to give up. We learned so many new words. I promise you before this year, I had no idea what asynchronous meant. <laughs> Schoology, 
we finally started checking our school emails. But all jokes aside, this pandemic has put a damper on our lives. But we didn't allow the darkness of the pandemic to dim our light. Instead, we lit up. Ever, ever since we started Brush High, our forever joke was, what is an arc? Compared to surrounding schools, we looked at mascots that were tigers, wildcats, cardinals, just to name a few. And we just had to be the arcs. Why couldn't we be a strong, fierce animal? Well, simply put, an arc is a light. However, not everyone can be a brush arc. <laughs> let, me, <laughs> let me tell y'all a little something about what it means to be a brush arc. It all started way back when Charles F. Brush placed 20 arcs in Cleveland Public Square. These arcs were as bright as 4,000 candles, so bright that people in attendance had to wear smoke glasses just to protect their eyes. Now I know what y'all thinking. Shania, what's the point? The point is, you should be proud to be an arc. An arc is a resilient light shining in the darkest hour. One who lights a fire so strong it cannot be extinguished. Arcs were made to light up the world. We are arcs. Maybe before today you dimmed your light. Maybe you did, a, did it out of fear, maybe embarrassment. But after today, you don't dare dim your light. Remember, you're an arc, it's what you do. Now you're gonna find people who can't handle your light. And don't be mad at them when they say, your light is too bright, your energy is too bright, your potential is too bright. Tell them, man, if my light is too bright, put on some shade. Cause I'm here to stay. So the question is, my class of 2021, are you going to be that light, see what you have, and manufacture a solution? Or are you going to be a dim light, see what you don't have, and manufacture a sob story? Because when you find yourself in the darkest of places, and you will, because life is messy out there, you are not confined to that reality. In fact, you are tasked with changing it. Because with persistence and your light, your individual light that burns within you guys, y'all can reconstruct the whole world around you. I know y'all, I grew up with y'all. I got faith in y'all. Congratulations, my fellow graduates of the class of 2021. <laughs> wherever we go, wherever we go, and whatever you do, may you remember where you came from and never, ever forget, you are an ARC. In the words of street poet Quavo, we was patient, we was patient. Now we can scream, we made it. Thank you, Shania. That was beautiful and quite amazing. I mean, I am very inspired right now. I don't know about you guys, but I am. Our second senior speaker of the evening is Jordan Hurd. Hello, my fellow classmates. I said, hello, my fellow classmates. Yes. Class of 2021, we finally made it. I'd like to thank all of you who have come out tonight. I'd like to take the time to tell you who we are and who we are as a class. The late Dr. Martin Luther King once said, intelligence plus character, that is the true goal of education. A person who has character has the true mental and moral qualities that distinguish them from others. One who is able to persevere through difficult times and that is what it took to get us here tonight. We are here today surrounded by people who inspired and taught us throughout our lives. This is a major step in our journey, one that should be recognized for its immense significance. I am sure many of you graduating tonight have been asked probably countless times, what school are you going to? Are you going to a trade? What job do you have? The fact of the matter is, you are celebrating a milestone here tonight. Stop and allow yourself to enjoy this moment here. Congratulate yourselves. Be happy with what you have accomplished. But as I initially said, I'm here to tell you who we are. Look around, we have so much potential. We are future lawyers, teachers, mechanics, artists, maybe even future presidents. But we are queens and we are kings, but that doesn't make us entitled. We understand that the world we are entering is full of challenges. There are battles to be fought out there, battles against racial injustice, global warming, poverty, racial injustice, to name just a few. But if we do change this world, we have to be willing to step up to the fight. Sometimes we got to get knocked down before we can really figure out what our fight is all about. 
or how we need to fight it. But if we choose to fight, we can make Dr. King's dream a reality, that all people will be judged by the content of their character. I know this class, and I know nothing can stop or break our greatness. We must always remember to stay true to ourselves, because at the end of the day, that is what defines us, and that is what creates a legacy. Benjamin Franklin once said, if you do tomorrow what you did today, you'll get tomorrow what you got today. You have to be willing to change, dig deep, and work a little crazy. Because at the end of the day, just do it. When you see someone in need, put your hand out. Go that extra mile. Make them never be able to imagine what life without you would be like. There's a universal truth that we all have to face. Everything eventually ends, whether we want it or not. My bad. <laughs> the most wonderful things about endings is that they always bring us to new beginnings. So embrace your endings and beginnings. We are the class of 2021. Be the change you want to see today. Again, so inspiring. I wish I could write on a speech like that. But I suck at writing essays. Thank you, Jordan. At this time, I would like to introduce Diamond Santiago. It is an honor for me to have the opportunity to address everyone here tonight. My name is Diamond Santiago. I came to Brush High School my freshman year after moving from Lancaster, PA, in order to progress in athletics, academics, and be closer to family. I'm excited to say that we made it to graduation. As we look over the past year, it is not an exaggeration to say that it has been difficult, wearisome, and at times terrifying. There's a Puerto Rican saying, al mal tiempo, buena cara, which means at bad times, happy face. That at tough times, we can look at the good and keep moving forward. And all of us here have proven that is exactly what we have done. Despite all of our trials this year, there is also reasons to be hopeful. And tonight's, rep tonight's ceremony represents hopefulness. It has been a year of struggle, fighting a pandemic, racial injustice, a turbulent presidential election, and a year where our differences simmered over into attack on our nation's capital. This one is definitely one for the history books. Today is one of the biggest days we've all been waiting for since we started high school. We have, been, we have spent 13 years in school, and now we have reached a big milestone in our lives to where the future will depend on our generation. We will decide what direction America goes as we emerge from these difficult times. Will they leave us dreadful? Will it make us a retreat? Or will we emerge triumphant, making the world better than what we found it? I believe we will be triumphant. Now in our beautiful young lives, we get to start a new successful chapter. Throughout the years, I've lost my family, friends, and at times myself. But along the way, I met amazing people. One thing I learned during high school is that yesterday is a history. Recognizing past mistakes is useful to us if we use them to grow and with time change. Tomorrow is a mystery. There is a great deal that occurs in this world that is beyond our control. By our actions each day, help us work towards a brighter future. And today is a gift. That is why it's called the present. It is all we are promised, and being alive today is magnificent. Life is full of surprises and can be a beautiful thing. Now our journey here at Brush has come to an end. I want to thank you to my family, fellow peers, and the teachers I have had over the years. Everyone that I've met at Brush High School has taught me how I have to let go of yesterday and keep moving forward. To look tomorrow with hope, because with hope, there is no telling what we are capable of. Ama tiempo, buena cara. Congratulations to all class of 2021. We made it. Good evening. There are many individuals who have participated in the success of the class of 2021. At this time, I'd like to ask the members of the Brush Administrative Team and School Counselor Team to stand and be recognized for their work in making this event a reality for our students. Let me point out that this is the very first 
commencement program held on the campus of Charles F. Brush High School in decades. So with that said, I would like to thank the administrative team and our school counselors here at Charles F. Brush High School. Please stand. I also want to take the time to thank Mr. Edmund Hall, our College and Career Coordinator, Mr. Chet Mason, our District Resource Coordinator, and Ms. Brenda Wilson, our Supervisor of Attendance. This will be Brenda Wilson's last commencement exercise program, and I am proud to say she is here at Charles F. Brush High School to experience this commencement with you, the class of 2021. Thank you, Mrs. Wilson. Each year, the commencement program is the culminating event in which we celebrate the graduation of our class of seniors. In a few moments, you'll no longer be considered seniors and you'll be considered graduates of the class of 2021, to which you have experienced a number of trials and tribulations like no other class has before you. With that said, I'd like to recognize the work of the following staff members who helped make tonight's commencement program a reality. Mrs. Francesca Sanford, Mrs. Diane Jamison, Mrs. Doreen Buemi, Mrs. Carmela Campana, our entire AV staff led by Sir Bell Zachariah, the entire brush custodial staff, and our district maintenance staff. The planning for this particular program was the only easy part of the event. The actual staging, organization, reconfiguring where we're gonna go from Corb to inside Welser, that was a large task, and I must thank all the individuals I identified in making this event happen. <laughs> the class of 2021 has been educated by some of the finest group of teachers that can only be found here at Charles F. Brush High School and the entire South Euclid Linner School District. To the staff of Charles F. Brush High School, thank you. Thank you for your continued support, care and love for our students and now to be graduates. You are one of the many reasons why this class will be remembered for the years to come. Graduates, let's thank our staff. <laughs> to Superintendent Dr. Linda Reed, our fearless leader of the entire South Euclid Linder School District. Thank you for your dedication relentless and unwavering support, and more importantly, your leadership. You and your directors have guided us through the difficult time, and our students before you are just one example of your hard work and dedication. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, to the entire South Euclid her School District Board of Education, on behalf of Charles F. Rush High School, thank you. Thank you for your commitment, thank you for your service, and thank you for everything you do for our students in our district. Your support is amazing, and we are fortunate for your work and everything you do to improve our school, our staff, and our students. Graduates, let's give an applause to our Board of Education. The members of the class of 2021 have truly endured a unique high school experience since they've arrived on campus here at Charles F. Brush High School. The typical journey through high school oftentimes does not include a pandemic. With that said, this class is unique and we endured a pandemic. The last 16 to 18 months have been difficult and that is even more reason for us to celebrate our graduating arcs of Brush High School. Each year it is often said how special or how unique the students graduating from high school truly are. With everything that has happened due to COVID, the graduating class of Charles F. Brush High School, the class of 2021, has by far exceeded the terms special and or unique. In other words, the young men and women sitting before you are truly amazing. To overcome the challenges experienced since March of 2020 is simply remarkable. For this, I ask that our seniors give a round of applause to our teachers here at Brush and another round of applause to the parents and family members in our audience this evening. <laughs> I 
I am truly thankful for all that you have done to help our seniors be here this evening. As a class, you have left your mark here at Charles F. Brush High School and the entire South Euclid and her school district. You are exactly why we are the destination school community. And to represent why we are the destination school community, here are some facts of the members of the class of 2021. Amongst us this evening, we are celebrating the following. We have 18 students who will receive a diploma with honors. 36 students have been recognized with the president, Presidential Award of Excellence. We have one National Merit finalist. There are 18 students who have earned a grade point average of a 4.0 or better. 55 students have earned honor roll with a grade point of a 3.5 or better. 48 students have earned merit roll with a grade point of a 3.0 to a 3.49. This year, we have six students who have earned a grade point between 4.3 and 4.42 and are listed in the top five of the graduating class. As an entire class, the class of 2021 has earned over $7,676,000 in scholarships. Fifty seniors have earned between zero to two hundred thousand dollars in scholarships. Six students have earned between two hundred and three hundred thousand dollars in scholarships. One student has earned between three hundred and five hundred thousand dollars in scholarships. We have three seniors who have earned between $500,000 and $1 million in scholarships. We have one senior who themselves have earned over $1 million in scholarships. As a class, our seniors have completed over 14,707 hours of community service during a pandemic. That is impressive. This means that on average, each member of the class completed approximately 59.8 hours of community service each. This year, we have 11 students who have enlisted to serve the military forces. We have three United States Marine Corps members two United States Navy, five United States Army, and one United States Air Force. As a class, we have 16 students attending historically black colleges and universities. Delbert Longino, stand up. Delbert Longino has earned a free education to attend Morehouse College. Congratulations, Delbert. <laughs> Besides the HBCUs, we have students going to the following schools. The Ohio State University. Case Western Reserve University. Ohio University. Kent State, Cleveland State, Bowling Green, Akron, Miami, University of Cincinnati, Ursuline College, Tri-C, just to name several. This evening, we have three students in the class of 2021 who have earned their associate's degree while attending Brush High School. <laughs> Nasharia, please stand. Nasharia Ray. Sarai Tyus, please stand. Mayana Wiggins, please stand. This is why Charles F. Brush High School is the destination school community. The class of 2021, Dr. Reed, the audience is yours. Missy Williams, I'm feeling good tonight. All right. Feels good to be here. Mr. Williamson, on behalf of the South Euclid Linares Board of Education, 
I proudly accept the 2021 graduating class of Charles F. Brush High School. Let's hear it for him. <laughs> Board President Jones, Vice President Lee, members of the Board of Education, parents and family, graduating class of 2021, welcome to this unique and highly anticipated commencement ceremony for the graduates of Charles F. Brush High School. A proud moment for you and one that officially commemorates the completion of your academic requirements. I am grateful for the opportunity to be among the first to sincerely congratulate the class of 2021 on your tenacity and your determination at this ceremony today. You are to be commended for the resilience you have demonstrated over the last 12 months, a character trait undoubtedly conceived and developed due to a crisis beyond your control, but one that will serve you well in your journey through life. The famous poet Maya Angelou said significantly, Life does not get easier or more forgiving. We grow stronger and more resilient by that which happens to us. We can be changed by our circumstances, but never be reduced by them. This senior class was dealt an unpredictable set of circumstances a year ago with a global pandemic near the close of their junior year. Class of 2021, you, you are here today surrounded by family and friends because you were resilient, not reduced, determined, not defeated, inspired, not intimidated. And for that class of 2021, you will forever be remembered as the Charles F. Brush High School graduating class who successfully navigated the swirling waters of a global pandemic with a type of resilience that makes me confident to say, these young women and men will meet whatever challenge life brings their way. While events and circumstances might change you, never let them reduce you. You were called to be resilient because life demanded more from you than you were expecting, and you successfully answered the call. Congratulations, and I wish you much, much success on your future endeavors. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce our board president, Cassandra Jones, and vice president, Aaron Lee. So we stand here as mothers first as our sons graduate today. We congratulate you all, thank you, and we look forward to all of your endeavors. My babies! Some of you I have been walking with since kindergarten alongside Jamel. Some of you we joined in fourth grade, but I lose one today, but I lose all of you as well. So congratulations. Oh, man. Life is all about going through upward and all in to pursue, pursue your dreams. Don't let any kind of obstacle or failure pin you down or run you away from completing your goals. Fight hard in this battle called life and you better face every challenge with the utmost courage, determination, and pers perseverance. Keep moving forward, you all. Move forward with hope and most importantly, love for yourself and others. When you think you can't go any further, find your village, they're there. And think of the poem from a French poet and short story writer, Mr. Apollinaire. Come to the edge, he said. We can't, we're afraid, they responded. Come to the edge, he said. We can't, we will fall, they responded. Come to the edge, he said, and so they came. And he pushed them, and they flew. Thank you for letting us be your village. I love you guys in the class of 2021, and congratulations. Congratulations, guys. Class of 2021, please stand. Superintendent Dr. Reed and the members of the South Euclid in her school's Board of Education, I hereby certify that the following members of the class of 2021 have successfully completed all the requirements by the State Board of Education and the South Euclid in her school board of education. The class of 2021, please now present yourself to Dr. Reed for graduation.
Ashley, Tyrese, Gregory Adams, Calum A. Adams, Isaac H. Alexander, Quintea L. Ali, Lily R. Al Sheikhtaha, Adrian Randolph Amir, Tayshawn A. Angel Franklin, William E. Armstrong, Emmanuel K. Ozan, Jalen R. Bailey, Vincent M. Bioni, David A. Ball, Keenan J. Barnes, Emmeline Ann Barron, Carter A. Basil, Tamir Dema Bell, Madison Victoria Bence, Christian M. Bolden, Madeline M. Botirius, Amy E. Bransky, Gabriel E. Braun, Davion S. Britton, Kyron I. Britton, Bethany N. Brock, Demetrius J. Brown, Delena Brown, Jaden Brown, Sincere Brown, Jalen J. Birchwood, Jessica I. Camandillo, Latraciana C. Cameron. Luke K. Campbell. Joshua L. Canfield. Maya A. Kennedy. Victoria A. Carmichael. Imani M. Carter. Kayla J. Cecil. Dariana Chacon Ramirez. Taylor M. Chambers. Terrence D. Cloud. Keontae L. Collier. William M. Collins. Colin Jordan Terry Connor. Cameron D. Crawford. Alex A. Cunningham. Cheyenne M. Darden. Tanea B. Davis. 
Cecilia J. DePasquale. Chantene A. Dickinson. Ariana M. Diggs. Nanan G. Diop. Clara Elizabeth Desenzo. Jayla Lavon Dothreath. John A. Drury III. Nathan C. Ekman. Anthony M. Effer Jr. Victor B. Banger. William D. Farron. Sophie Marie Patika. Jalen D. Fields. Gianni A. Fitch. Hannah J. Fluker. Christian C. Ford. Thurston L. Forte. Aaron T. Foster. Stormy L. Faust. Kiera B. Fowler. Arthur D. Franklin. Brooklyn D. Franklin. Diana Q. Franklin. Tyrell R. Franks. Cedris M. Freely. Janicia N. Gale. Angelica Marie Galvin. Isabella G. Generelli. Deshaun P. George. Jada M. Glass. Sharif E. Glass. Jalen A. Glenn. Evan C. Glessner. Imani S. Goggin. Ian M. Greenewalt. Taj W. Greer. Carmen R. Grigsby. Alec Jacob Guyette. Olivia Joy Hamilton. Aaron. C. Harris. Brandon T. Harris. Cameron J. Harris. Russell N. Harris the third. Tracy O. Harris Jr. Dylan M. Harsley Overstreet. Elijah Henderson. 
Jaina C. Henderson. Abby L. Hill. Janasia P. Hilliard. Trevon Montrell Hobbs Fussell. Oriah T. Huff. Alexandria S. Hull. London A. Hunter. Jordan M. Hurt. Deshaun L. Jackson. Malika L. Jackson. Tony L. Jackson. Marissa Renee Jacobs. DeAmber N. James. Trayvon D. Jenkins. Julius J. Joffreyon. Chase D. Johnson. Chloe R. Johnson. Nakaya Johnson. Naya Shalice Johnson. Richard G. Johnson. Jamel L. Jones. Donette Brielle Kegler. Matthew R. Kendig. DeAndre O. Kilgore the third. DeAlion L. Kimber. Isabella Rose King. Kareen Mawin Corva. Alexia S. Kumar. Tyla T. Kyle. Isabel R. Lashley. Hevelyn K. Lee. Miguel L. Lewis. Tyree L. Waddell. Anthony S. Little. Khalil C. Littlejohn. Yvonne M. Lockett. Delbert E. Longino II. Andrew J. Loya. Stephen J. Loya. Shataya Lukerson. Antoine L. Mack Jr. Rachelle Denise Malone. Alexandria N. Marino. Houston, Elijah Marshall. Seth J. Martin. Charday J. Massengill. Richard C. Maynard the second. Brandon P. McCall.
Anthony C. McLean. Kiana S. McClendon. Antonio J. McCoy, Jr. Marion McKenney. Joshua J. Mealy. Kayla R. Mealy. Aiden J. Mendelson. Jashawn A. Miller. Tiffany M. Miller. Travon A. Mims. Ian J. Mitchell. Stringer Mana Mixon. Myla I. Montgomery. Paul E. Moore the third. Alfredia N. Murray. Marcel L. Miles. Celine M. Najem. Mayan M. Nevels. Andre A. Newman. Rashad T. Noel. Sahem Nofal. Kimberly B. Norvell. Jennifer E. Overbay. Deja J. Overby. Dennis Palacios Acosta. Vladimir S. Paramzin. Sean Michael Pierce. Michelle Lene Pinkard. Brian K. Quinn. Sashanice S. Quinn. Bamala Rye. Joseph Rye. Terry M. Randolph. Charles W. Ray the Fourth. Christian N. Ray. Nasharia A. Ray. Stephanie L. Rayborn. Najir C. Reed.
Asia T. Reed. Gabrielle M. Repko. Jalen Richardson. Malik K. Robertson. Daquan D. Ross. Jaslyn Kamara Rozier. Adonis Javier Santiago. Diamond M. Santiago. Damon D. Scott. Marquel D. Scott. Simon Philip Scott. Gwyneth T. Seddon. Jasmine M. Saifala. Niall A. Shepard. Faith Lynn Shook. Anthony J. Shorts. Darnasia N. Smith. Joshua T. Smith. Keith K. Smith the second. Keontae T. Smith. Makai S. Smith. Janiza A. Spears. Antonia Lacey Steele. Hakeen O. Stewart. Rebecca Rose Stone. Ayana M. Stovall. Serenity D. Styles. Morgan J. Taylor. Marcus B. Terry, Jr. Cameron M. Thomas. Ian R. Thomas. Uriah N. Thomas. Jalen R. Thompson. Thompson. 
Arsenio M. Torres. <laughs> Philip J. Trippy the fourth. Cameron M. Trishler. Cheyenne M. Tufts. Santerese E. Turner the second. Sarai N. Tyus. A.K. E. Udi. Destiny S. Vaughn. Grayson P. Wade. Carla A. Wagner. Ryan S. Wainwright. Javon C. Wakefield. Jade L. Walker. Kiara O. War. Dylan J. Washington. Lanos Naquan Washington. Jeffrey D. Weaver. Destiny C. White. Kayla J. White. Miana Freedom Wiggins. Naya F. Williams. Sinclair N. Williams. Makira Jalen Williford. Marcion I. Wilson. Janaya M. Wise. Jared R. Wittels. Janaya Crystal Woodruff. Erica D. Wright. Jada J. Zinnerman. Marcellus J. Emery. Marlon J. Emery. Marlon J. Emery. It's hard to follow Marcellus receiving his diploma, but congratulations, Marcellus. <laughs> Graduates, I sent you an email earlier 
Tomorrow there's going to be a parade for Marcellus, so make sure you read the email. I gave you the directions. It's at 4 o'clock. This is my plug. Let's support Marcellus. This has definitely not been a typical school year. With that said, I'd like to identify the six students who finished their high school careers in the overall top five for the entire class of the class of 2021. This again was an incredibly close finish as all these students finished with a grade point average between a 4.3 and a 4.42. Yeah. Students that are ranked in the top five include and when I call your name, please stand. Sean Pierce. Stay standing, Sean. Stay standing. Also at number five, Arthur Franklin. Arthur, stand up. Stay standing. Number four, Sarai Tyus. Sarai, please stand. Number three, Matt Kendig. Please stand. Number two, and the salutatorian for the class of 2021, Lily El Taha. Please stand. And the valedictorian for the class of 2021 is Gianni Fitch. Please stand. Gianni Fitch was also the National Merit Finalist for Charles F. Brush High School. Congratulations, Gianni. Lily, if you could come on up. Lily is graduating with a 4.38 grade point average and will attend Case Western Reserve University, and we are proud of Lily. Gianni, can you come on up here, Mr. Fitch? Gianni is graduating with a 4.42 grade point average, and he will be attending The Ohio University. Please join me in congratulating our top five students. Good luck and best wishes to the entire graduating class of 2021. Sarai and Gianni, you're gonna come up and you're gonna lead the class of 2021 that are now officially Brush graduates in the alma mater. Hail to the brown, hail to the gold, Hail to dear Brush High, the school we uphold. We love no other, so let our motto be, Victory Brush High School Varsity.